Hi everybody, it's Miss Mills here. I'm here to read uh, another article called Bubbling Observations, where you will determine the main idea and choose some supporting details. This is just good practice for you um, as we uh, become better readers. It's always good to be able to answer questions that directly involve the text. So that's the purpose and that's what we're doing now. All right, so the title is Bubbling observations and the first question that we're going to answer is which of the following best identifies the main idea of this passage so let's get started here with the text the title is bubbling observations bubbles can teach us about life light and strength the wall of a bubble has three parts there is an outer wall made of soap or detergent a center wall made of water and an inner wall that is also made of soap or detergent. The inside of the bubble is filled with air. This structure of the bubble's wall is very similar to that of membranes found in living creatures like us. Bubbles can also teach us about light. The light from the sun is made up of many different colors. When mixed together, they look white. However, it is possible to separate the different colors of light from each other with a prism. Drops of water inside a bubble can work like a prism resembling a rainbow. Bubbles can also teach us how to make things stronger. Bubbles are usually very fragile. They can easily pop, but if you add sugar to a bubble solution, you will find that the bubbles are much stronger. They will last for two or three times as long. This is because the sugar strengthens the wall of the bubble and it doesn't evaporate as quickly as water. Who knew bubbles were so amazing? Let's reread the question. Which of the following best identifies the main idea of this passage? These are your choices. A wall of bubble has three parts. A wall of a bubble has three parts. Bubbles can teach us about life, light, and strength. Or who knew bubbles were so amazing? You're just choosing one of those statements that best tells the main idea of the entire article. Down here um, is where you will choose three statements that support the main idea. Three statements, three of these, okay? The first one says bubbles can also teach us about light. A bubble's wall is very similar to that of membranes found in living creatures like us. The light from the sun is made up of many different colors. Drops of water inside a bubble can work like a prism resembling a rainbow. Adding sugar to bubbles will make them stronger and less likely to pop. You're choosing three. Good luck. And let us know if you have any questions.